Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 93. In this video, a way of solving puzzles using Snyder notation, pencil marks, and a notation for finding X chains will be presented. Here is a list of prerequisite videos for this video. Consider the following Sudoku. Hadoku's puzzle solver used the seven base techniques plus all the X chain variants colored in yellow to solve this puzzle. This puzzle has a Hadoku rating of unfair with a difficulty score of 1,646. Our first step in solving this puzzle is to use Snyder notation for filling in the initial pencil marks. We fill in the pencil marks for the ones. The cells highlighted in gray are where a pencil mark for a one cannot be placed because of an existing given or value. The givens and values are highlighted in green. According to Snyder Notation Guidelines, we only put pencil marks in houses having two cells where a one pencil mark can be placed. In this example, block four is the only place we put pencil marks in for the possible one candidates. You don't have to color the cells gray. This is just being done here to explain what you do mentally in your head before you write in pencil marks. Also note, for this demonstration, the pencil marks will be done by computer typing instead of being handwritten. Computer typing will be a cleaner demonstration, but what is being demonstrated here can be done with handwritten pencil marks. Here is the Snyder notation for the twos, and there is nothing to do for the twos. We put pencil marks in for the threes in blocks one, block five, and block nine. We put pencil marks in for the 4s in block 2, block 6, and block 7. Notice how block 2 only has one remaining cell where a 4 can be placed. We have found a hidden single. This is a hidden single because other pencil marks can be placed in this cell. But we must choose 4 as the value of cell 3, 4 because there has to be at least one 4 in the house making up block 2. We find another hidden single in cell 8, 3. We choose 4 as the value of cell 8, 3 because there has to be at least one 4 in the house making up block 7. And this then allows us to place pencil marks in block 4 for the number 4. Here is the Snyder notation for the 5s, and there's nothing to do with the 5s. We put pencil marks in for the 6s in block 1, block 6, and block 8. Notice how the locked candidates in block 2 allow us to put pencil marks in for the 6s in block 1. We put pencil marks in for the 7s in block 1 and block 9. We put pencil marks in for the 8s in block 1 and block 8. And we put pencil marks in for the 9s in block 1, block 6, and block 7. We find a hidden single for the 9 in cell 6, 8. We choose 9 as the value of 6, 8 because there has to be at least one 9 in the house making up block 6. At this point, we have gone as far as we can go with Snyder notation. Next, we are going to start looking for naked singles. When looking for naked singles, we will cycle through all the open cells. An open cell is one that does not have a given or a value set. All the open cells are now highlighted in gray. Focus on cell 1, 1, now highlighted in green. Each cell in a Sudoku puzzle is part of three different houses. One row type house, one column type house, and one block type house. A house in Sudoku is a section of the grid composed of one set of numbers 1 through 9. Every Sudoku puzzle has 27 houses. In this example, cell 1, 1 is part of the house making up row 1 the house making up column 1, and the house making up block 1. This next part we normally do in our heads, but it will be shown here in detail. In the three houses for cell 1, 1, we look for the number 1. We find a 1 in cell 3, 3. So we then look for a number 2. We do not find a 2 in the three houses, so we mentally note in our heads cell 1, 1 could have a value of 2. You don't put the pencil mark in for the 2 at this point. I'm just showing the pencil mark because it is a mental note in our heads. We then look for a 3. We find a 3 in cell 1, 8. We then look for a 4. We find a 4 in cell 2, 1. We also find a 4 in cell 1, 9. 
We look for the number 5. We do not find a 5 in any of the three houses for cell 1, 1. At this point, since cell 1, 1 has two possible numbers, it can't be a hidden single. We then move on to the next cell to check for a naked single in the puzzle. Most people don't check for a naked single in every cell, but only concentrate on cells appearing to have lots of numbers in their three shared houses. We therefore concentrate on cell 7, 8. We look at all the values and givens in the three shared houses. We find a 1 in cell 2, 8. We do not find a 2 in the three shared houses, so we make a mental note of it. We find a 3, we find a 4, we find a 5, we find a 6, we find a 7, we find an 8, and we find a 9. Since we found every number except 2 in the three shared houses, this means the 2 is a naked single for cell 7, 8. We choose 2 to be the value for cell 7, 8 because there has to be at least one 2 in each of the three shared houses. Whenever we set a value to a cell, check all the other open cells in the three shared houses for additional naked singles. We find a naked single with the number 3 in cell 7, 2. We choose 3 to be the value of cell 7, 2 because there has to be at least one 3 in each of the three shared houses. Note the pencil marks we put in for the 3 in block 1 because of the Snyder notation we did. Since we have a value of 3 in cell 7, 2, we erase the pencil mark for the 3 in cell 2, 2. But since there is only one remaining 3 in block 1, we have found a hidden single with the 3 in cell 2, 3. We choose 3 as the value of cell 2, 3 because there has to be at least one 3 in the house making up block 1. After setting cell 2, 3 to have a value of 3, there is only one location remaining in block 1 where a number 8 can go. We find another hidden single with the 8 in cell 2, 2. We choose 8 for the value of cell 2, 2 because there has to be at least one 8 in the house making up block 1. We then find another hidden single with the 9 in cell 1, 2. We choose 9 to be the value of cell 1, 2 because there has to be at least one value of 9 in the house making up block 1. And we find another hidden single with the 7 in cell 1, 3. So we choose 7 to be the value of cell 1, 3 because there has to be at least one 7 in the house making up block 1. At this point, when I am doing Snyder notation, I like to go through each of the 27 houses and fill in the pencil marks for houses having only two or three remaining open cells. I found this to be useful in finding additional naked and hidden singles. We find three open cells in the house making up row three. We add pencil marks for the 256 naked triple found in the house making up row three. We find two open cells in the house making up row seven. We add pencil marks for the 17 naked pair found in the house making up row seven. We find three open cells in the house making up block one. We add pencil marks for the 256 naked triple found in the house making up block one. We find two open cells in the house making up block three. We add pencil marks for the 25 naked pair found in the house making up block three. We find three open cells in the house making up block seven. We add pencil marks for the 259 naked triple found in the house making up block seven. At this point, we repeat steps 1 through 3 until the puzzle is solved or until we get stuck. Steps 1 through 3 will solve a huge number of puzzles, but there will always be a group of puzzles, often labeled diabolical, which will require more specialized puzzle solving techniques. After repeating steps 1 through 3, here is the current state of the puzzle. We are currently stuck and cannot go any further in solving this puzzle by just using steps 1 through 3. At this point, we are going to change our puzzle solving strategy. We are going to fill in all the pencil marks and then use puzzle solving techniques to erase pencil marks until a naked or hidden single shows up. We have filled in all the pencil marks for each cell. I know a lot of people do not like this approach. Managing this many pencil marks is a lot of work. However, as you will see, 
Unless you fill in all the pencil marks in every cell, you will not be able to proceed in solving these harder puzzles. Also, make sure you are extra careful filling in your pencil marks. If you miss any pencil marks, it might lead to a bad result. It's a good idea to check all your work before you move on to the next step. Next, we look for naked singles, hidden singles, locked candidates, naked pairs, hidden pairs, and naked triples within the puzzle. We find a 4-6 naked pair in the house making up column 2, now highlighted in green. We erase the pencil mark for the 6 in cell 3, 2. We find a 2-5 naked pair in the house making up row 3, now highlighted in green. We erase the pencil marks for the 2 and 5 in cell 3, 1. We find a naked single with the 6 in cell 3, 1. We choose 6 to be the value of cell 3, 1 because it is the only remaining possible choice for the cell. By filling in all the pencil marks, we were able to find the naked pair in block 4. This resulted in cell 3, 1 having a value of 6. This is why, for harder puzzles, you will have to eventually fill in all the pencil marks. Otherwise, you will not be able to see naked pairs that exist within the puzzle as in this example. We do not find any more naked or hidden singles, pairs, or triples. At this point, we are going to look for X chains. We will begin with the cells having a 1 pencil mark and look for either OR links in all 27 houses. We begin searching the 27 houses. When we get to the house making up row 6, we find two cells having a pencil mark for the 1. These two cells are participating in an either or link relationship with each other. We draw an underscore under each pencil mark to indicate there exists an either or link relationship with these pencil marks. We continue our search to the next house. We find another either or link in the house making up row 7. We draw underscores and continue searching. We find another either or link in the house making up column 1. We draw underscores and continue searching. And we find another either or link in the house making up block 9. We add one more underscore. Next, we build out our X chain chaining sequence. We pick one cell from an either or link to be our first cell in our chaining sequence. We choose cell 6, 4 to be our first cell in our chaining sequence. Notice we added a down line to the underscore to indicate the first cell in the chaining sequence is off. Since cell 6, 4 is in an either or link relationship with cell 6, 7, we add an up line to the underscore in cell 6, 7 to indicate the cell is on in the chaining sequence. We only want to add cells to our chaining sequence that have an underscore under the pencil mark. Since cell 6, 7 is on, we add cell 7, 7 to our chaining sequence with a downline to indicate it is off. This is because both cells are in the same column 7 house and only one can be on at any given time. Since cell 7, 7 participates in two either or link relationships, we add two additional on links to our chaining sequence. At this point, we cannot go any further with our chaining sequence. Next, we look for cells anywhere in the puzzle which share a house with both one of the on cells and one of the off cells at the same time. All the pencil marks circled in red share a house with both an on cell and an off cell in the chaining sequence. The X chain logic works as follows. Since our chaining sequence is composed of either or links, either the green shaded pencil marks are on or the purple shaded pencil marks are on. The either or links force it to be one way or the other. So the pencil marks shaded in red are non-possible candidates and can be erased. Notice how we have two sets of parallel either or links lining up in the same two columns. What we have here is commonly known as an X-wing. It turns out an X-wing is an X-chain variant. We erase the pencil marks for the non-possible candidates. We erase all the underscores from the pencil marks in the puzzle. Next, we repeat steps 6 and 7 until the puzzle is solved. 
There are many puzzles that will be solved with just repeating uses of step 6. We find an exchange sequence with the twos. This one is also a turbot fish. Removing the pencil mark for the 2 in cell 5, 9 adds a new either-or link to the chaining sequence for the 2s. This one turns out to be a skyscraper, which is another X-chain variant. Getting rid of the 2 in cell 6, 7 allows us to extend our X-chain sequence even further. The top part is a turbot fish, and the bottom part is a two-string kite, which are both X-chain variants. We remove the non-possible candidates and we erase the underscores from the puzzle. We find an exchange sequence with the fives, which will eliminate two pencil marks from the puzzle and open up a naked single. We have a turbot fish above, and we have a turbot fish below. We remove the non-possible candidates, and we erase the underscores from the puzzle. We now have a naked single in cell 6, 7. We choose 1 as the value of 6, 7 as shown. We find another naked single in cell 7, 7. We choose 7 as the value of cell 7, 7 as shown. We find another naked single for the number 1 in cell 7, 4. And we find another naked single for the number 2 in cell 8, 5. And we find a hidden single for the 1 in the house making up block 9. We choose 1 as the value of cell 8, 9. We find another exchange sequence with the fives, which will eliminate another two pencil marks from the puzzle. Notice how the polarity of cell 1, 1 has changed from being off to being on in our chaining sequence. Changing the polarity resulted in us being able to identify two more additional non-possible pencil marks to erase. We have a turbot fish above, and we have a two-string kite below. We remove the non-possible candidates, and we erase the underscores from the puzzle. At this point in the puzzle, we have a string of naked singles. The puzzle is now completely solved. This video took a little longer than I expected, but I did include a lot of detail in solving this puzzle. The algorithm text has been updated to include what to do if steps 6 and 7 are not enough to solve the puzzle. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 93. Please support DX Sudoku. Thank you for watching.